Whatever. And that party election broadcast by the Conservative Party will be shown again at 10.25 on BBC Two. The cutting wit of MASH eases the strains of war on BBC Two shortly with a bowling match to be organised with the rival Marines. And then at 9.25, Mr Wakefield is up to his ears in murder and intrigue, tidying up the loose ends in his crusade to find the perpetrator of a dastardly crime. That's over on BBC Two. Now on BBC One, the nine o'clock news with Martin Lewis. The privatisation of British coal and British rail top the government's agenda for the next parliament. The Prime Minister promises reform at the heart of government and reveals details of the secret intelligence service. Mr Kinnock says there's nothing new in the government's economic plans. And the film legend Marlena Dietrich, the Blue Angel, is dead. Good evening. More privatisation, greater freedoms for the citizen and a sweeping away of the cobwebs of secrecy in government are to be the frontrunners for the Conservatives' fourth term in office. MPs were expecting them, but not a surprise from the Prime Minister, who for the first time publicly acknowledged the existence of the Secret Intelligence Service and named its head. Mr Major said his policies would encourage the creation of wealth because without wealth there will be no welfare. The opposition leader, Neil Kinnock, said there was nothing new in the proposals. The Queen's speech outlined 16 government bills for the new session of Parliament. The legislative programme will cover the next 18 months. It includes plans to privatise British coal and to open up British rail to competition, to curb further the power of the trade unions, and to control claims for refugee status by reintroducing the asylum bill. The Maastricht Treaty on European Economic and Political Union will this year be submitted for Parliament's approval and the Citizens' Charter brought to the centre of decision-making in the public services. An urban regeneration agency will tackle inner-city dereliction. The work of the Boundary Commission will be speeded up, which could mean another 20 safe Conservative seats at the next election. And a national lottery will be set up to raise money for arts, sport and voluntary bodies.